Hey guys, Chris here with TechRecipes.com and before we jump into this, I just wanted to say I am sorry if this microphone picks up a lot of keyboard typing and clicks and stuff. I still don't have a stand for it. It's a new microphone I got. Uh, so you might hear a lot of clicking and stuff like that and the audio might be a little off. But that's because I'm just still getting used to this thing, getting it set up. So with A and Plus, I'm sick on top of that. So a lot of, a lot of factors uh, contributing to my excuse for why this video might not be up to par. But you know what? I think this video will be awesome. I think you guys will enjoy it. And what I'm showing you is a plugin I found on WordPress recently. And I believe from what I read it used to be included. I don't know. I don't think it still is because I had to activate it. This plugin is going to allow you to export your MySQL database that's connected to your WordPress uh, install uh, from the WordPress admin area and this is useful if for one you're transferring your website and you don't have access to the database the actual database itself itself whether it's through PHP my admin or however you access it and I actually ran into this problem at work so it gave me this idea for this tutorial when I was looking for a solution this is also in my opinion a big security loophole because if someone gets into your WordPress admin they can change a lot of stuff but let's look at how to do this we're gonna go to plugins add new and we're gonna paste in wordpress-db-backup is the name of the plugin and hit search plugins it's gonna be this first one here by Austin Matsko and go ahead and click install that and after it installs you must activate it now we're gonna look at tools once it's activated and go on down to backup and it's gonna show you all the tables that are in uh, your WordPress database and you can exclude the comments and the posts but of course if you're making a backup I would assume you want everything so I just leave everything as it is now we can save this backup to our server it'll go straight to the FTP uh, backup folder you can find it in there you can set it to email the backup to us or we can download it straight to the computer and by backup it means the SQL uh, file itself that contains all the tables and rows and columns uh, we can schedule a backup and schedule it to email us a certain amount of times, which is a very good feature. But let's go ahead and export this now, and we just click on Backup Now. And you'll see it might take some time depending on how big your uh, database is. Mine isn't that big on this website, so it's going to go very fast here. And be sure you don't mess with anything on the browser. And once it's done, it'll start a download here. We can pop it open, and it's in a zip file but that is your database and you can just export it to the desktop here and you have your database right there ready to go very simple to do alright thanks for watching